Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcletexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Monday morning forecast update. And be prepared for some very cold air out there this morning. In fact, we did see a little bit of the rain change over into snow in Red River as well as McCurtain counties overnight. The ground's pretty warm, so we did get some accumulations on some of the grassy surfaces. But if you're waking up this morning, the snow will have uh, long melted for us and the rain getting carried off to the east with our cold front. But we are going to feel that cold air kind of pouring into the region today. We've got a little bit of a breeze this morning. Your temperatures are dropping into the 30s as well, so make sure you do have a jacket with you this morning. We're down to freezing, Idabel as well as Dequeen, and just given the amount of rain that we did see and a little bit of snow as well, if you're north of I-30, some of the bridges and overpasses could definitely have a little bit of ice on them this morning, so make sure you're slowing down as you go over some of those. The rest of us, not likely to see some issues, but there's definitely still some wet roadways out there from the rain we received yesterday in Shreveport. We've dropped into the uh, upper 30s as well. It may make it down to freezing by the time we uh, hit sunrise here in Texarkana. Wind speeds uh, starting to die off a little bit across the northern Arklatex, but the rest of us dealing with some 10 to 15 mile per hour winds with those temperatures in the 30s. We are getting wind chills in some areas in the 20s this morning. So again, make sure you have a jacket if you're spending any time out there today. We'll likely wind up uh, upper 40s and low 50s, so it is going to be about 10 degrees below average as far as the high temperatures today. And uh, it may take a little while to shake some of the clouds, so I do expect we'll see a few clouds this morning, but there's no rain in today's forecast and we'll likely wind up in the 40s in most areas this afternoon, but we may see a few locations uh, make a run at the low 50s. So here's the weather pattern today. Again, we'll have some dry air briefly, but you can see our next little disturbance dipping down as it moves into the Rocky Mountains. So it's that little dip in the jet stream. That's the next chance of uh, rain that will be rolling in. This will be late tomorrow, early Wednesday. Uh, don't want to sound the alarm bell here, but it will be kind of interesting to watch how this all develops. We'll likely have temperatures in the 30s and 40s for much of the day tomorrow. You can see a little sun coming back today, but the clouds come roaring back here pretty early through the day tomorrow, and then eventually we are going to see a chance of rain pop up Tuesday afternoon and uh, Tuesday evening. Temperatures should be above freezing here, but if we do see some of this rain linger overnight, it is a possibility we could see maybe a changeover into some sleet and snow once again uh, late Tuesday, early Wednesday. And just given the warmer ground temperatures, we still don't expect that there will be uh, any kind of travel impacts or any kind of significant accumulation here is uh, this system is going to be working with a lot of dry air so we just won't see any kind of significant rainfall amounts and we should dry out pretty quickly Wednesday uh, but we're likely going to see the clouds linger and just staying cold we'll likely have highs in the 40s again Tuesday as well as Wednesday and uh, there's a look at the rainfall projections with this next system generally most locations seeing less than a quarter inch of rain so it's not the uh, beneficial rainfall amounts that we we will see but uh, again most of this rain will come during the overnight hours so hopefully this won't have much of an impact on you later late Tuesday into early Wednesday. Seven-day forecast. We're still a week away from the official start of winter, but it is going to feel very winter-like throughout the week as we'll have highs in the 40s through Wednesday and may uh, make a run at 60 degrees or so on Friday. Friday's setting up to be a pretty nice day, but we do have another system that's going to make its way in early in the weekend. Doesn't look like a lot of rain, but we do have some rain in your Saturday forecast. Uh, again, severe weather threat is looking pretty low for us, but that's something we'll monitor throughout the week. And even with the system this weekend, we'll stay on the cool side as low will be in the 20s and 30s and then warming back into the mid to upper 50s for the upcoming weekend.